In today's Madden 21 breakdown, I'm going to be showing you a absolutely huge breakthrough play in the game of Decroft versus Young Kiv. One of the plays that really defined the game for Decroft, and we're going to show you exactly what he did and why it was successful uh, in this video. Now, if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my name's Cody, and what I do here is I make Madden 21 tips and tricks videos that basically try to help you uh, get better at Madden 21, give you some food to chew on. And sometimes it's stuff that I come up with my own, but sometimes um, it's a product of me watching some of the best players in the Madden community, which we have an amazing game right here between Young Kiv and Decroft for the Seahawks Club Championship. And it's learning from them what they're doing, why it works, and then showing you how to apply that into your own uh, own scheme. And so what I wanted to do today is I wanted to break down um, Decroft's user rush out of the Big Nickel over G. Now, a lot of you guys probably run the Big Nickel over G defense. In fact, if you have um, been following me for any length or any period of time, you know that my text membership, which you can get for 100% free, has over an hour and a half of video breakdown on a, the Big Nickel over G defense and how to run it effectively uh, in Madden NFL 21. So if you want to get access to that video, all you have to do is just text me. My number is 812 216-3644 it'll come up on the screen here in a little bit but um, that's our text message membership we give free tips every single week uh, to people and they're typically very high level in-depth very detail uh, oriented tips now what I want to do is we're gonna fast forward to this play now let me just kind of set the stage for you on this play now Decroft has just scored seven points he held Kib to three and then he actually was able to go down and score seven. So the momentum is starting to shift into Decroft's um, way. You see here going to that big nickel over G defense, and he is using Taylor Mays with strip specialists. Now, one of the things that you'll notice on this play right here is that Young Kiv is known for the gun bunch. In fact, the gun bunch is kid, it really truly. Um, we learn a lot about you know young young Kiv with the gun bunch every single year because of how unique and how special I believe of a player young Kiv is even though he does run an offense that a lot of people run he oftentimes will run that offense differently than a lot of people will run it so what I want to show you here is young Kiv is going to come out with a bunch to the short side of the field and young Kiv will typically flip the bunch at least one time and the reason that that's powerful is because it allows you to really mess with some of the defensive adjustments that your opponent might um, might be able to put on the field it also gives you the opportunity to set up different route concepts and route combinations out of the gun bunch whenever you flip it at the line of scrimmage so it's a very popular tactic that young kid is going to do you're going to see here he's going to come out he's going to make his adjustments and now he's going to flip the play now what you'll see is taylor mays has strip specialists and he's going to be coming down on this now decroft actually subbed taylor mays into this position because he knew he was going to run this play and he knew he wanted to run this look because as a general rule most people will run the gun bunch to the wide side of the field now even though kib doesn't always do that um, it's still a popular concept and if you're going to do this user rush most of the time you're going to want to do it to the short side of the field as you can see taylor mays is on the short side of the field so he has that threat of the user rush and what you'll see here, we're going to fast forward here to about 722. So in this set right here, this is basically big nickel over G. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you the setup. We'll show it to you in the practice mode here in just a second. But Kiv is going to send five people out on a route. Decroft is playing pretty much man-to-man um, -man on the outside guys. Um, kind of a hybrid coverage, honestly, what he was rolling with here. This is actually a really interesting uh, little coverage. And you see here he gets the sack, the fumble, and he gets the scoop and the score. Now what we're going to do is we're going to jump over into practice mode. And we're going to kind of walk you through exactly how Decroft uh, set this play up against Kiv in this critical moment. So over here, we're in practice mode. And I want to show you. So I've got the gun bunch offset loaded up. This is a Carolina gun bunch. And I believe that Kiv, let me just make sure I have the notes right on this. Um, I believe he was running um the i think he was running a, a simple uh, flood concept honestly i'm not quite sure the play he was actually using on this play but for the purpose of the video what he did was he came out with it flipped okay so i do want i want you to see that and i think he might have honestly hot routed every single route on this play but what we're going to do is we're going to go into the big nickel over g defense and we're just going to come out in we're going to put the cover three in our audibles and we're going to come out in the cover four palms but I'm not 100% sure that this is the play that Decroft was using, but this is a very, very good setup as well. So what you'll see happen in this 
is that when Kemp flips his bunch formation, what you'll notice is that Decroft will flip his formation as well. So what Kemp does is he's going to come out, and this is why, because he has a young Kemp has a slot apprentice on his uh, left side guy here. To mimic this, I just grabbed the Bucks because they can make all the hot routes. But basically, um, he's got a post route on this left side here, so he's going to put Mike Evans on a post, then he's going to flip the play. Now, at that point of flipping the play, from there, he's going to put his tight end on a corner route. His running back's going to be on a on a drag. And then I think this outside guy was, it was some kind of variance of something like this right here. right? Some kind of little combination, something like this. And what you're going to see from Decroft is literally all he's going to do is he is going to show blitz. Uh, or I'm sorry, he's going to flip the bunch, or flip the, flip the big nickel over G, and then he's going to show blitz. So we'll get that show blitz right there. And then from there, what you'll see is all D. Croft is going to do, and he loves to leave his big nickel over G uh, lineman just kind of standard, right? Nothing too crazy on this. And what you'll see on this play right here is, um, and actually I believe Kiv ran the spacing, spacing switch concept, so let me back this up real quick. He runs spacing switch, so watch what's going to happen. So we're going to put Mike Evans on the post, we're going to flip the play, and then we're going to put McCoy on this little shoot flat route right here, put the tight end on a corner route, and put the underneath receiver on a slant, right? Some underneath crossing routes, basically, um, to try to kind of beat uh, some of what Decroft was doing on the defensive side of the ball. Well, Decroft gives him this look right here, and essentially all he's going to do is he's going to crash his line to the left, and at the snap of the ball, what's going to happen is, and it's going to be a little bit tricky to show you with these two controllers, but at the snap of the ball, basically Decroft is going to scream right off this edge. And, and there, I, I kind of miss the user rush, but he's literally just going to scream right off that edge right there. Now, again, make sure that you are flipping your bunch. That is part, or flipping your flipping your big nickel over G uh, defense. That is really one of the key elements. So spacing switch, Kev's got the post route right here, and then he's going to create with his hot route, um, his tight end apprentice, and his slot apprentice, some other routes on the field, as you can see right here. Now, because he flipped his bunch, Decroft's going to flip his defense, and then he's going to basically run this right here. At this point, he is going to sh um, crash that line to the left. And the snap of the ball, basically, he's literally just going to scream right in off the edge. Snap the ball, comes right off the edge, and gets that strip that strip fumble. I kind of missed it because, again, having two controllers, it makes it a little bit trickier to run. Now, um, the, the reason that this is successful is partially because of the pressure. The pressure screams. It's, it's kind of unique, right? People don't expect this pressure. This is something that you can go to in critical situations. It's not something that is meant to be spammed. It is not something that is meant to be ran every single play. It is something that you can go to um, in a critical situation. So as you see here, you get this look right here. And um, again, you have this little route combination on the left side of the field. Now on this specific route combination, there's really nobody open if you're just in a basic man-to-man -man front, especially if you take this, this, um, this corner on the left and just throw him in the middle of the field uh, with a middle third. And then basically, Decroft is just going to run. Now, you do want this guy on his own. If you put him on a blitz, it's not going to work. So you do want him on his own, and you do want that line to crash. And right here, you'll see that's what we're looking for right there, that little user sack on the quarterback. Now, let's go into instant replay really quickly here and show you in slow motion what is happening on this route combination. What you'll see at the snap of the ball, like I said, um, this is the look right here. This is the look that Kiv sees. There's that press coverage from that man, and it's going to kind of delay everything. Now, he has a slant right here. But look how close this is. So Kiv tries prop. I, he might have even been throwing the ball. I don't think he actually was. But you got that press man-to-man -man coverage, aggressive style defense, nothing's open, and you're able to scream in right off this edge. And the key is, with strip specialist, you, if you hit R1, it's going to strip sack, fumble, and Decroft is going to be sitting pretty. Uh, as I said, my number's in the top left corner of the screen. It's also in the description of the video if you want to pick up the text message membership where we break down uh, tips little bit more in depth, depth than just this one but you see the strip the fumble and the score and this is a huge huge momentum uh momentum shift in the game so anyways guys that's how you do the use rush at a big nickel over g really phenomenal lab work by d d croft in this game um it, it just goes to show what a great player he is and how prepared um he and the rest of his crew really are um, for these for these live event uh, tournaments. Now we got another great matchup tonight. Got some really really good games on slate tonight. Can't wait to see what I believe to be one of the best bunch players in Madden right now. Henry, one of the best players in general. Uh, young Henry, uh, a phenomenal player. Love to be able to break down some of his tape. 
But as you can see here, um, just a big time momentum shift in the game. Decroft able to walk away as the Seahawks club champion with that user sack, rush, fumble, scoop, score, big time play in a big time moment. And that's what makes Decroft such a special player. So, uh, guys, real quick before we take off, if you want to get that big nickel over G defense, just shoot me a text message. Other than that, if you want to uh, pick up or if you want to join the Discord, that link is in the description as well. That's where we can talk Madden 24-7. And last but not least, if you would like a personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching session, I do have those available uh, in the description. You can sign up for that if you're struggling with some concepts or want to learn a little bit more about the game at a higher level. I'd highly encourage you to pick those up. We've turned people that are you know 200 yard game passers into 500 yard game passers we've really been able to help people get better at this game people have begun you know getting in the top 100 because of the tips that we're providing in the in the uh, coaching sessions so if you're really looking to get better i'd highly encourage you to check that out anyways guys that's going to be all for me uh, again here's my number in case you need it 812-216-3644 text me let me know what's up we will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time and we will also have another video upload uh, here in a few hours talking a little bit more about tournament Madden and uh, what all we can think or to prepare for heading into tonight's matchups. So I want to thank you guys so much for your time, and we will see you guys uh, in our next video. And if you have any questions, like I said, just shoot me a text.